Where was Prince Harry? This was, of course, a huge event in the life of Meghan Markle. But where was Prince Harry in all of this? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you today. This is really just a quick update because obviously this is an evolving royal story or non-royal story, depending on how you now cite, of course, the former Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and Meghan, who, as we know, like to be known as Harry and Meghan on occasions, but of course also like to be known as uh, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as and when that particular event, depending on what they're selling or indeed promoting, suits them. Now this story all centres upon a tragedy, a terrible tragedy over in America of once again another gun violent shooting. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm sure you'll all agree, it's just horrendous. And obviously when you think about it, there's so many of these situations that go unreported around the world. It's not just in America. Of course we have these terrible violence uh, outbursts from everywhere. Uh, and all we can do really is offer our hope and sympathies and our good prayers to those terrible people whose lives have now been affected in every possible single way. But of course the focus of the media was the arrival of of course the Duchess of Sussex who allegedly came with no camera crew, who also came uh, just simply as a citizen dressed down although they managed of course in the papers to cite that she was wearing the late Princess Diana's watch. Nothing wrong with that, it's hers to wear but it does seem weird doesn't it the fact that even the media now want to cite the wealth on such a terrible tragedy. But moving forward, a lot of people were asking the burning question, just exactly where was Prince Harry in all of this? As we've seen with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex or Harry and Meghan, they do like to do these COD Royal events. We recently saw, of course, the polo match where they awarded themselves a trophy and it looked to the world like they'd won the trophy, but allegedly they hadn't. They'd come second. Whichever way, it resulted once again in bad PR. But a lot of people are saying, well, as Meghan decided to put the flowers down as a memorial, you know, and give some compassion and thought, even though her own father is critically ill right now in hospital, perhaps she should have been doing that. More importantly, where was Harry? Now, it's interesting to note when we contacted their team, as ever, they never respond, which is really strange, isn't it? Because it's such negative PR, why wouldn't they want to correct the right or the wrong? So of course we reached out to some very close contacts and I was being told this. The reason why Prince Harry simply didn't attend with his wife Meghan Markle is the fact that, and as ever we have to say allegedly, he didn't feel the time was right. And of course he knows royal protocol. Whenever a situation like this happens over here in the United Kingdom, terrible tragedies, that sort of stuff, the royals of course do send notes of compassion and of course offering their thoughts and prayers but they leave it to an acceptable time to make that visit because they know that the people that truly matter are the people that are suffering, the people that are directly related to that tragedy. And according to that good source, Prince Harry really wanted to stick to that particular narrative. However, his wife Meghan Markle decided that she must go out there and offer her compassion and her sympathy even though that, as ever, allegedly, was in the public domain. So for now, it does appear that Prince Harry, looking back at his former life and who knows exactly how these things should work in the situations of terrible tragedy, did the right thing. But to the world's media, again, allegedly, we have to say that Meghan Markle has garnered the most unpleasant PR, possibly of her time in the public eye. Now, whether she was doing the right or the wrong thing, remains to be seen, but it appears even Prince Harry felt simply the time wasn't right. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.